you all have a lot of questions about peonies. Why? Because we love them. They're like that elusive flower. It has a really short bloom time, but it's so beautiful. It's super expensive when you buy it by the stem, like seriously. So you should plant your own. I'm gonna show you some of my favorites because one of them is blooming. This is a really old type, you guys. This is a fern leaf, which I think technically is called more of a lace leaf. Fern leaf is the more normal name for certain ones, but this one looks a little bit different. It has a little bit fatter leaf than a fern leaf one does, but it has that old style lace texture. So all of these came from my great grandma's farm and it started out as like one, maybe two bushes and I have been splitting it over the years and now have one, two, three, probably four, five, six, seven, probably close to eight or 10 that I have split and just have now these nice bushes. You can do that with peonies. That's the great part. And it works really well with fern or lace leaf ones like this. So this is one type of peony. It's the earliest blooming peony, fern leaf. And this one, which is a lace leaf, early, early bloomers. So delicate, you guys, you need to come in here. It has a much smaller bloom, but it has an extra delicate look to it, which I love. The wind can rip it apart. So I have it behind this wall here because it really protects it, which everything is just coming up and looking so good. And after the freeze, who knows? But I want to show you a couple other types. This, a lot of you are going to know this one. It's familiar. It is an herbaceous or garden peony. We call them either one kind of herbaceous or garden. Herbaceous with an H, herbaceous. Um, this is the really normal peony. It's the one you see everywhere. A lot of times you'll see it in white or those pink and kind of reddish colors. They're great. The one thing you need to remember with peonies, you don't plant them too deep. If they are planted too deep, they're not gonna bloom. So if you have one that's not blooming, chances are you planted it too deep. You probably can't see on this one, but when you plant them, always make sure you see a little bit of their crown, which is slightly just the top of their root where it connects to the stem. You wanna see that. And if it's underground, you can't get it to bloom that well. So actually, true testament, I had two garden peonies here that had been here probably for close to 80 years. Never hardly bloomed in the last 20 years. I moved them, set them up, they're blooming. So it's one of those things. So garden peony. Then over here we have an Ito peony, it's called. It is a lot sturdier stem. It comes out with these bronze or brown tipped kind of foliage as it comes out. It has bigger, bigger blooms. They don't have the scent that an original herbaceous or garden peony does because they're a cross between an herbaceous peony and a tree peony. That means they put the two together. I'll show you tree peonies too. But these Ito peonies are kind of a little bit newer thing. They're kind of expensive because they're gorgeous and they're very showy and they're beautiful, but treat them the same as a garden peony, guys. Okay, so I was over at my mom's house, farm number two. Now I'm over at my house and I wanna show you, this is a tree peony, you guys. I talked about tree peonies. Let me show you some of the differences. They get much taller. They have different leaves. They get bigger, bigger blooms. I mean, huge blooms. And look, they have almost like trunk-like woody stems. So it's a lot different than herbaceous peony. Garden peonies, herbaceous peonies, and Ito peonies, you trim back all the way to the ground. So in the fall, when their foliage starts dying, you just take them back to the ground. Tree peonies, you don't do that. You can do pruning on them, like if a branch dies, or you need to shape it slightly, but you don't cut them back to the ground. And the thing is, if they die all the way back to the ground, you have to really watch because if the shoots come up below the graft, then they could actually just revert back to what their rootstock is, which means what they place the tree part on, and it could just come back as a garden peony. So you don't want them to die back to the ground. So these are just as easy to care for, but you cannot split them like you can garden peonies and fern peonies. So a lot of you are asking me, well, when can I move my peonies? If you transplant so many, which I do, split them, which I do, when you do it, most experts are gonna tell you that you should do that in September. Totally works, I've done that, that's great. I also like to do it early, early spring. We're talking March, when you're just beginning to see some green nubs come out of the ground of these peonies. Right when you see that is a great time because they're still slightly dormant. They have no leaves yet that are gonna get stressed out dig them up. If you want to split them, do it. If you just want to set them up higher so they bloom better, do it. Early spring is a great time. So from now through August into September, not a good time. It's going to really stress them. They're going to lose their blooms. They're probably going to lose a lot of leaves and not do as well. This is when a plant needs to get its energy, 
needs to get really green. It needs to use those leaves to take in the energy and get better roots. Not a good time to stress it out, guys. Okay, really quick here. Oh, the GM are blooming. That's so fun. Okay, this is a tree peony. You can see that the blooms are so much bigger. This is when they're still tight. So we're a few weeks out from them blooming and they're gonna get so much bigger. Like when they bloom, we're talking blooms that get at least that big. Tree peonies are awesome. They're more expensive because they're more rare and they're just as easy to care for. So when you're looking for peonies, if you want the good smelling old fashioned peony, get a garden or herbaceous peony. If you want something more unique, that's sturdy but looks like a garden peony, get an Ito. If you really wanna impress your friends and have something that no one else has and is really different, get a tree peony, you guys. You can't go wrong with peonies. Short life, but so fulfilling. Okay, keep asking me questions, I love this. I'm gonna quick making these videos so I can answer your questions. Make sure to share them around so we can spread the news that gardening is fun, everyone should do it. We all need a garden, it gives us life, okay.